Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 11th of 2024 is titled Quadrantids of the North. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the sky and we are looking at the quadranted meteor shower. Now, meteor showers are named after the constellation from which they appear to radiate. So this is from the constellation of Quadrans Moralis. Now, if you're not familiar with that, quan that constellation, it's not just an obscure constellation, but actually an obsolete one, one that is no longer in use. So constellations have changed over time. And in fact, different cultures have used different constellations. Sometimes there are similarities between them, and other times they are completely different groupings of stars put together. So constellations are really something that we have made here on Earth or that any other culture or civilization may have put together from the patterns of stars that they see in the sky. So this one is no longer used and in fact it was about a hundred years ago or so that the International Astronomical Union formalized the list of 88 constellations which make up the set of modern constellations which are used today. Now the meteor shower itself we see a number of meteors and if you kind of trace them all back they seem to be coming from one point. That is the radiant point of the shower. Now it's not that the meteors are all coming from the same location it is that they are traveling parallel together through space and parallel lines will appear to converge off in the distance. So you see that with a road or with railroad tracks on a very long straight stretch they look like they get closer and closer together off in the distance. In reality they're the same distance apart the entire way. So it's really just a matter of perspective when we look at these as to what we're seeing in the terms of things converging. So in reality, no, they're not converging, but they certainly appear to on the sky. Now, what part of the sky is this? Well, we're looking relatively far north. And in fact, you can see Polaris, the pole star off toward the upper left hand side. That is one of that is about the 50th brightest star in the sky. So not the brightest star by far, which is sometimes a misconception that people have. Polaris is important only because of its location near the North Celestial Pole. So it's its location in the sky, not its brightness, that makes it very important. Uh, we also see on the other side the three stars in the handle of the Big Dipper. Now the Big Dipper itself is not a constellation, but is part of the constellation of Ursa Major or the Great Bear. So we see that one off to the left hand side. Now those are two prominent constellations in the northern sky. And if you're very far north, they're what are called circumpolar constellations. And that means that they never dip below the horizon. In fact, Polaris will remain at the same point in the sky as Earth rotates and the stars appear to move around Earth. So when that happens, we will see Polaris stay at essentially the same point and all other stars will make circles around it. The farther away they are from Polaris, the bigger the circle. And then eventually those circles will cross the horizon. When they cross the horizon, that's when we see the stars rise or set. But a star close enough to Polaris will make a complete circle without ever actually reaching the horizon. So from farther northerly latitudes, the things like the Big Dipper, Ursa Major and Polaris, which is part of Ursa Minor, will always be visible in the sky as part of the circumpolar set of objects. So that was our picture of the day for January 11th of 2024. It was titled Quadrantids of the North. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.